In a certainly appalling and mourning time due to the humanitarian tragedy taking place in Gaza, Islamic centers and mosques all across Argentina held several events to mark the end of Ramadan. After offering the traditional eight prayers, the Muslim community broke the fast sharing altogether a hearty lunch with tens of traditional dishes. I can hear many times during the Ramadan when our community gets even closer because it's a very special time for all of us. In Argentina, the fasting was one of the shortest in the world, so we were lucky. Argentina is home to the largest and most active Muslim community in Latin America. In recent years, the government passed important laws to protect and extend the rights of Muslims in the country. For instance, Muslim women can now freely wear their hijab anywhere and without any restriction, even in public documents such as ID cards and passports. Despite it is always a unique opportunity of joy and celebration both for the young and the old, this year the suffering of those under siege in Gaza marred the feast. The religious leader comforted the community and reminded the original meaning of Ramadan. After an entire month apart of worldly activities, we are happy for having accomplished the sacrifice of experimenting the thirst and hunger of those who have nothing. We want to be fair with God and with ourselves and feel entitled to demand justice for those who are oppressed, like our brothers in Palestine. This year, the Israeli onslaught of thousands of women and children in Gaza had a deep impact on the way the Muslim community observed the end of Ramadan in Argentina. The always joyful celebrations were left aside, and the Muslim leaders dedicated the eight prayers to the victims of the irrational and disproportional violence in Palestine. Manuel Giffoni, Press TV, Buenos Aires.